Greetings to every students who are doing pure mathematics. Here with you, I'm here with you to do one of the Olympiad question people, one of the Olympiad questions. Here I'm required to solve for x. So this is what is given to me. I'm given that sine power sine squared x plus seven to the power of cos squared x is equal to eight. All right, before I even start, the first thing that I should do here, okay, solution. Before I even start the solution, I want to make sure that all my exponent is either they are written in terms of sine or in terms of cos. So how am I going to do that? Okay, by using a special identity stating that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. This allows me to write cos squared x as 1 minus sine squared x. Okay, so knowing that cos squared x can be written as 1 minus sine squared x, this gives me an authority to rewrite this as 7 to the power of sine squared x plus 7 to the power 1 minus sine squared x which is equal to 8. So what is the next step? Here I can see that I can bring back this 7 to the power of sine squared x plus using a uh, laws of exponent if you see carefully here i can rewrite this as seven to the power of one over times in fact times seven to the power of minus sine squared x being equal to eight okay using the laws of exponent also that says that if you have a to the power of minus one this means it's one over eight so in this case, uh, this is okay here. This is 1 from being exponent minus 1 to being exponent 1. But it changed into being a fraction. So here now I have 7 to the power of sine squared x. So here I can rewrite this as 7 over 7 to the power of sine squared x, which is equal to 8. Okay, so from here, what else can I do? Okay, I can multiply throughout by 7 to the power of sine squared x, which makes it be 7 to the power of sine squared x times 7 to the power of sine squared x plus 7 here which is equal to, if I multiply even this side with this one, this becomes 8 times 7 to the power of sine squared x. So the next step from here, so you see here powers of the same base, you just drop one power and add their exponent, which makes it be 7 to the power of sine squared x plus sine squared x. So it will be sine squared x plus sine squared x plus 7 here which is equal to 8 times 7 to the power of sine squared x okay so if i add the 2 i get 2 sine squared x so it is 2 sine squared x I can take this one from the uh, right hand side to the left hand side and change it the sign becomes minus 8 times 7 to the power of sine squared x plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, if you can look at this, this can be turned into a quadratic um, equation. How do I make it a quadratic equation? If I can let my x to be equal to 7 to the power of sine squared x. You will see that here I will end up with, okay, let me factor out 
uh, 70 to the power sine squared x here. It will be sine squared x and then multiplying by 2 here. Because if you multiply this one by 2, you get this one. Minus 8 times 7 to the power of sine squared x plus 7 which is equal to zero. So if I let x to be equal to seven to the power of sine squared x here, this means this will be x to the power of two minus eight x plus seven, which is equal to zero, which makes x squared minus eight x plus seven being equal to what? Zero. If I can find the factors, I can factorize this into x minus 7, x minus 1, equal to 0, which makes my x to be equal to 7, or my x to be equal to 1. So I know that x is equivalent to 7 to the power of sine squared x, meaning... This implies that 7 to the power sine squared x is equal to 7 to the power of 1. So this allows me to say that same basis, I drop basis and I equate the exponent. Sine squared x is equal to 1. Okay which implies that if I introduce a square root here, I'll end up with sine x being equal to 1, which makes x to be equal to sine, so kind of a sheet to 1. So plus k times 360 degrees where k element of integers or in this case, we said x equal to 1, so it makes 7 to the power of sine squared x to be equal to uh, 7 to the power of 0. Any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So here, yeah, if I can make sure that I equate the 7 to the power of sine squared x with something that will be of the same base, it will be 7 to the power of 0. This implies that in this case, sine squared x is equal to 0, which implies that if I introduce a square root both side, sine x is equal to 0, implying that x is equal to inverse 0 plus k times 360 degrees, where k are the elements of integers. So this is how you take such a problem. I hope this video was helpful. If it's the first time you view my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, um, comment if you have any queries. Uh, bell button in case we keep uploading, you become notified. Thank you very much.